Hi guys! So in this video, our topic is all about exact differential equation. In our previous topic, we have discussed variable separable. So one of the characteristic of an exact differential equation, it is not separable. So basically guys, hindi natin pwedeng ipag-separate yung mga variable x and mga variable y. And mag-integrate tayo yung traditional method. So here guys, for the sake of review, I will discuss yung mga step-by-step -step solution kung paano siya isolve as an exact differential equation. So first guys, paano ba natin malalaman na ang isang differential equation is exact? Now here, if we look at this, yung katabi ng dx, meron siyang variable x and y. Therefore, this expression is in terms of x and y. And also to the other side, this expression can be expressed as a variable of x and y. Ang pinaka basis of exact differential equation is if m is equal to 2xy and n, so introduce tayo ng other variable para mas simple lang siyang uh, tingnan, let n is equal to 1 plus x squared here. So ito siya. Then ito. So here, i-partial derivative natin to with respect to y. Kung kinuha natin guys sa dx, so yung partial differential of m with respect to y tayo. So, that is equal to. So, if with respect to y ang partial derivative, therefore, yung x natin here will be a constant. Okay? So, we have 2x. So, differential of y with respect to dy, so that is 1. So, here, the partial differential of n with respect to x naman tayo. Kasi dito tayo sa dy, kumuha ng expression. So, that is equal to. So, partial derivative of n with respect to x tayo. Kung if with respect to x, yung mga y natin is magiging constant. So, here we have, so ito, constant. So, the derivative of constant is 0. This is 2x. So, here guys, ito yung karakteristik na exact differential equation. So, yung partial differential of m, this expression, with respect to y, is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, this is an exact DE. So, yun guys yung karakteristik niya. So, para magamit yung method of solving exact DE, you need to test for exactness. So, this is the method to do that. Now, how about the solution? So, isolve natin guys. So, yung example natin guys, this is 2x y differential of x plus 1 plus x squared differential of y equals 0. So, yung general equation natin, guys, of course, if in-integrate natin to both sides, so, yung kakalabasan niya is a function of x and y equals constant. So, ito dapat yung general equation niya. It means that ito is a function of x and y. Meron siyang variables x and y. And, nag-integrate tayo, meron siyang constant. Now, if we integrate this both side, let's say 2xy Differential of x plus integral of 1 plus x squared differential of y equals, of course, constant. So, ito, hindi natin to actually pwedeng gamitin because nagsasama-sama yung ating mga variable. So, what we will do is we just integrate this separately. Kumbaga, ito, magiging partial derivative. So, integral of 2xy, partial differential of x. Now, here, if you have partial differential of x, therefore, so nag-integrate tayo, of course, meron ka ditong plus constant. So, k. That is y dependent. Kasi partial differential of x, y is constant. This is k dependent. So, that is equal to itong constant natin. Ito yung first equation. So, yung second equation, guys, magiging integral of 1 plus x squared. So, partial differential of y plus dito ang constant natin is x. Therefore, yung constant na kakalabasan niya is x dependent equals c. These two equations has relationship. So, kumbaga, pinaghiwalay natin siya because we cannot integrate this the traditional way. Since, meron tayong mga constant. What we do? is we just get the partial derivative. So, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang equation here. And our goal 
is to actually find this integral of course and ky and kx. Ito, pwede natin siyang integrate So, ang ginawa natin guys, kung bakit na tayo nagkaroon ng ganitong equation is that i-integrate natin here with respect to x. Therefore, say here. So, integral of 2xy dx plus integral of 1 plus x squared dy equals c. Now, ang ginawa natin guys is partial derivative natin yung x here. Partial differential na siya. Partial differential of x. Therefore, lahat ng y is magiging constant. So basically ito, differential of y is 0. 0 na to. And here, magiging integral of 2xy partial differential of x plus, of course, meron tayong constant here that is y dependent. Plus 0 equals c. Ginawa natin na constant yung y. And of course, yung second solution, this is from the first equation. Yung second equation is from, if we integrate this both sides, nang gagawin natin constant yung x. Therefore, ito magiging 0. So, 0 siya plus integral of 1 plus x squared. Partial differential of y plus, of course, meron tayong k that is x dependent equals c. So, doon natin nakuha yung dalawang equation. Then, we can solve this. So, isolve natin to. So, from the first equation, y is constant. So, pwede natin ilabas yung mga constant, guys. So, 2y integral of, you have here, x, partial differential of x plus ky. So, ky dahil y is constant. So, nag-integrate tayo, automatic, merong constant. So, equals c. So, 2y. So, this is from the first equation. We have x squared all over 2 plus ky equals c. So, further simplifying, we have x squared y plus ky equals c. So, first equation. So, from the second, we have integral of quantity 1 plus x squared partial differential of y plus kx equals c. So, integrate natin. So, here we have y plus x is constant. So, x squared y plus kx equals c. Equation 2. So, i-compare natin. Last step tayo guys. Compare natin to. So, i-compare natin yung first equation sa second equation. Because we need to determine ky and kx. So, ky must be a function of y. So, dapat nakadepende sa y. So, from ky guys, tingin ka sa second equation. So, hanapin mo yung variables na naka-y lang. So, in this case, ky is equal to y. So, walang ibang variable in the second equation that is in terms of y na walang x. Hindi pwede to because meron siyang x, right? So, for the second equation naman, kx, tingin ka ngayon sa first equation. Meron bang variable doon that is in terms of x only? So, wala. So, therefore, kx is 0. Now, i-transfer natin to in any equation. So, it's either kx 0 or ky is y. So, yun na yun guys, yung answer natin. So, the last step needs the process of comparison and inspection. So, guys, you need to note that only 1k should be determined. It's either k1 or k2 to arrive in the general solution. So basically guys, k1 and k2 can either be in terms of x and y. So, in any way, kahit siya ay kx or ky, pwede siya, it's possible to have a kx na in terms of y or x. It can either be. As long as equation 1 and 2 is equal. So this last step actually needs the comparison and inspection method. From the first equation, you have x squared y plus so, here we have ky as y. So, ky, tingin ka sa second equation. Ano yung variable na y lang? So, y lang naman, y. So, ky is y. So, from the second equation, kx, ano yung variable in the first equation na in terms of x lang? So, wala. Therefore, 0. So, x squared y plus ky is y equals c. So, this is the final answer. So, pwede mo gamitin yung second so, we have here y 
plus x squared y plus so kx is 0 0 equals c so x squared y plus y equals c same thing so you have this answer so yung pag solve guys natin is step by step so tanda lang natin yung mga step of solving and of course yung analysis of the problem so that's it guys in my next video i will be teaching more about differential equation thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you continue to like share and subscribe on my youtube channel see you guys and god bless